celebration to have Bonaventure here. Continues on with his military career, we refer to him as the general. He marries a woman by the name of Harriet Fenwick, and they would have seven children. Only three survive into adulthood, however. Now, his wife will die in 1802. She is buried here. And with her burial here in 1802, this is the earliest recorded burial in its original spot at Bonaventure. This is where the cemetery begins at the Tatmo family cemetery. And Harriet's is the first. The general will die just a year later in 1803. He is also memorialized with the same stone. <coughs> the children were not yet old enough to inherit the property legally. They went back to London and were raised by their grandfather. The first to come back was the eldest son, Edward, and the obelisk is his monument. When Edward passes, the property then will be inherited by his younger brother, who is Josiah Tatnell III. His monument is over here. You guys are welcome to come in. You know, just so Josiah Tatnell III, the, the grandson of the general, of the original, uh, is the last one to have the Bonaventure property. He spends his entire life in naval service, which is why we refer to him as the Commodore. Yeah. What so many of those, so, you know, I mean, it was kind of the thing you were expecting. You know, military service was expected for most of the mm. You may not have spent your whole life in that service, <laughs> like, the, like the Commodore did, because he spent all of his life in the 